All right. So I saw a YouTube video a while back about a Bluetooth SNES controller being used on an HTC Sense phone to play emulators. And that really inspired me to create this version of it. So without further ado, here we go. Um, hey, you have your modified Bluetooth SNES controller. Um, more description and all that stuff is in the description of the video. Uh, and my Verizon Thunderbolt. Um, basically, since the HTC Sense will not allow you to use any of the Wii Mode applications, and which allow you to use a Wii controller, um, you have to pretty much just make your own Bluetooth controller. So, just a brief overview here. Uh, the Bluetooth controller that I used was just a regular SNES one. I did not like the generic $5 ones you can find on eBay. They are very chintzy in my opinion. Um, so, inside the controller you have an Arduino Mini processor. And you have a Blue Smurf Silver Bluetooth module. Uh, on the top here you can kind of see there's a LiPo charge port for the LiPo battery that I put in there and you also have a on and off switch. So uh, let's turn it on here and we'll give it a go. So basically when you turn it on I got it so that it flashes green waiting for a connection. So on your Android phone you're going to need two applications. Those applications are SNES Connect and I believe I'm pronouncing this correctly but Amarino. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. The Amarino one, you only have to install that. You don't actually need to do any config or anything on it. So let me see if I can zoom in a little better for you guys here. There, hopefully that's a little better. So let's go ahead and launch SNES Connect in the background. You can kind of see the light still. So we'll launch Connect. Um, I already have the device paired to my phone at one point in time. So you can set up your default device. You can scan it here if you want. Uh, input method settings. Got it checked for SNES keyboard change input method. Let's change it to the SNES keyboard. Okay, now as soon as this goes here you'll actually see the light on the controller go to a steady blue. And there you go. Kind of hard to tell the color change on the camera but it is now a steady blue LED. So, now all you gotta do is just jump into your favorite SNES emulator or whichever one you want to use. Um, I prefer SNES, SNES 9X EX basically because any of the XXXOID versions of it I have found an issue where when you roll the D-pad to maneuver it doesn't work out too well because your guy ends up actually hanging. I, I, I can post a video later about that one. So, without further ado, let's start up the SNX. Uh, let's load a game. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Zelda here. Went ahead and started right where I left off. Uh, here we go. Up down. There's basically that for you guys. As you know, over here. So that's pretty much it. And then if you want to charge your controller, you just back out of this thing here. Okay? If you want to charge the controller, you can use the same connection. Shut this off here to show you this. You can use the same connection or connector you use to charge your phone to charge the controller. You just plug it in the top. And 
Got a red LED hooked up to that. So as soon as it's the lithium ion battery, or the LiPo battery inside, gets fully charged, the light will actually shut off, indicating a full charge. So other than that, that is about it. So anyway, uh, feel free to check out the description and let me know if you have any questions.